Hello everybody, Pastor Kerry here with another Lift Moment. Many of you will recall the statement used during the Gulf War called air superiority or dominance of the air. You heard it on the news many times. This referred to the Air Force being able to dominate anything in the air by way of other aircraft. This was also true when it comes to understanding spiritual airways. Ephesians 6 and verse 12 says, For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Principality refers to similarly what we would call a city or a municipality. Powers refer to the military like demons that work out from that principality. The rulers refers to the humans who allow them to function in their cities or churches. When we understand how to have air dominion, things change and the rulership can change hands as well. For example, concerning Saul prophesying for Samuel 19. So he went out to Naoth and Ramon, the Spirit of God was upon him also, and he went on and prophesied until he came to Naoth and Ramah, and he also stripped off his clothes and prophesied before Samuel in the like manner, and lay down naked all that day and all that night. Therefore they said, Is Saul among the prophets too? Saul was not known to be prophetic, but when he came into an environment that was prophetic, that was being ruled by another authority, he came under the same spirit of prophecy. If you're finding your environment or region divisive or home, consider changing the atmosphere and taking air domination. Here are three ways you can begin to detoxify your airways. Mark 4 verses 23 and 25 says, Take heed what you hear with the same measure you use it will be measured to you. Two things to consider here, not only how, but what you hear makes the difference. The how is hearing with the right application of faith. The what we hear has to do with something that builds you up or not that doesn't leave you feeling slimy or defeated. Number two, create an atmosphere of praise and thanksgiving for everything you encounter. Also develop an environment of honor for those you live or work with. Number three, just as you would filter the air in your house for health's sake, Filter what you take in by way of all portals of your life. Filter what you meditate on. Without faith, meditation can be toxic to your soul. Let me pray for you. Father, I just pray that every one of us would have a discerning heart and spirit of the environment or the dominion that's in our home or workplace or where we are. We pray, O God, that we would rule the airwaves, the airwaves from the television, our phones, and any other devices that has access into our life. We pray, God, that you would give us a greater sensitivity to the Holy Spirit so that we know what becomes toxic to our lives, what agitates us and causes our soul to be oppressed and depressed. We pray for a greater discerning of the Holy Spirit and seeing what you're doing at any given time and giving you free way in our homes and lives and marriages and our children, every part of our life. We want to honor you, Lord, and allow you to have the dominion of the airwaves in our life. We thank you for your direction and leadership of the Holy Spirit in everything we do. In Jesus' name, amen. Till next time, have a great week. Bye-bye.